Oh, it's like 6.30. It is way too early for me to get up. Oh. But I have to go downstairs and get my bag and then take a shower. I got messages it was delivered last night. After I film, dress the day. Yeah. Whatever. What do you think? Facial hair. Stupid? Got it. I'm so tired. I ended, up, I ended up hitting the snooze button for a little bit, but I just lay there. I have this weird thing with sleep lately. It's like I can get to sleep, but I can't stay asleep. So I I've been taking this new uh, sleeping aid, Ambien, for a few months now, a couple months. And it does a really good job putting me to sleep, but it doesn't keep me asleep. It seems like every morning about 4.35 o'clock I wake up and then it's just like... I'm up and then I can't fall back asleep but when it's time to get up oh I'm ready to go to sleep then so yeah I think tonight I want to try to instead of take a pill and a half like I've been doing which is what's prescribed to me I'm gonna take a pill see if that knocks me out and then when I wake up at 430 take another pill or the half of the pill and see if that'll knock me back out Either way, I really got to get this show on the road. It is busy as shit. There's no coffee. The line for coffee is insane. And I am used to very large quantities of caffeine. Like half a pot, minimum. So this is going to be an interesting ride. Alright, starting to take shape. Here's my, uh, why my bitch shirt. Sponsored by dot tech domains. I got a discount code that they sent me in an email. I actually haven't even haven't even looked at it because I've been so busy. But they are a sponsor. And I brought my hat so I can flat down my head. And I'm just gonna be wearing some regular shoes today and regular jeans. I do have another pair of dress jeans that I might wear tomorrow with a nicer shirt, but for now, I'm just kinda going at it, preparing to walk all day long. Got this thing set up. Seems to be working fine. Again, got my microphone, uh, my wireless lapel. Uh, this is actually, I never talked about this, at least not how it's hooked up, but this one's running directly to this. So if I need to charge this up, I just have to push the button to turn that on. So that's cool. I can switch over to the uh, shotgun microphone if I need to. And then I got my little light. And then I even like kind of I, I double-sided taped this thing to it, and then I reinforced it with some electrical tape, but this is to put my phone in, so I can have my phone doing whatever, like that. And I think I got everything in here I need. Lights, batteries, cables. Got some uh, hand sanitizer in here, but I'm also gonna keep some on me. Business card, I think I got everything I need. I think it should be good to go. It's nine o'clock though, so I'm definitely getting a late start. I had to shower and get ready and prep. Tomorrow should be a lot sooner for me, but today, definitely a late start. I ho, I ho, it's off to see as we go. I ho, I ho, I ho, I ho. Some kind of cheese Danish thing on a Red Bull. Breakfast of champions. I don't know where I'm going right now. All in the crowd. Gotta start somewhere. I guess I'm just gonna start here. I really need to get transportation down. I'm gonna figure that out. Probably be a lot cheaper for me if I figure out what I'm doing. But I knew this was gonna be a learning experience either way.
by the way, security was kind of pathetic. They're like, open your bags. And like, I cracked it. They're like, okay, you're good. I'm like, good job, bro. Really got me. So I apparently ended up in like a design and source. I mean, there's really not a lot of interesting stuff here. I want more computer stuff, maybe some home entertainment. I don't know, I'm looking for anything interesting. I think I'm coming up on electronics right now. And by electronics, I mean speakers. I feel like I'm running through all this. I'm like, what's interesting? What's not? I don't know. I don't really see anything that's like, you know, super exciting or anything. Everybody was like crowded around waiting to see if this guy was going to actually take off, but he was just kind of spinning his wheels, so to speak, or spinning his uh, fans. It's funny because everyone was like, whoa, he's not going to take off? I wanted to see him chop his legs off. It's pretty cool though. It has Dubai police on the back, and this one over here looks like it's like, it's got, I don't know, it's either like turbo powered or something. It's got a cage on it. I don't know. But this one's pretty cool. The craziest thing about all of this is just finding stuff where to go like if I wanted to here's the thing there's a lot of stuff to look at so if I wanted to go to a specific booth I could probably find where I'm gonna go with that specific booth like the map the interactive map I get with CES thing or whatever but you just you miss so much like I, I got side, sidetracked right now just by uh, drones I mean water drones that are not necessarily a new story but still interesting uh, then some kind of automated machine thing so it's like I thought you wanted to I don't know, it's like a kid in a candy store. It's just, there's stuff to look at everywhere. It's like, ah, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. I found my new TVs. I don't know how big these are. I really want one. Hey, how big are these TVs? Do you know? You know how big these TVs are? I don't know, I have an 80 inch at home and that looks like it's a hundred inch. I'll take three. Okay, so it's like a little hologram, but at first I looked at it and I'm like, all this is just a spinning fan with LEDs on it. That's really not interesting. This has been done for a long time. It's like, I mean, they have a clocks and shit you can get for like $2. But then they put them all together on this big wall of fans and they make like a, something a lot cooler. I mean, talk about taking an old idea and making it something cooler. So yeah, that's interesting. Hey, this is actually Are you okay? I'm good. Okay, you just well, threw me off a little bit. Let me teach you. Oh my God, the head is important. I want if, to get If you. I stay here long enough, will I look like that? <laughs> yes, you will. I will? You have a feeling of muscle okay. too. Okay, I'll be here forever then. I love it. Come on. Okay, so spread your legs as well as you can. Spread them? Yes. Stay on. Oh, stay on it. Well, and you said spread, spread them. your legs. Yes, better. Okay, and then stay straight. That's right, all right? Okay? And then look at me, guys. Look at me. When you step on I'm kind of feeling this in my stomach a little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can like feel the muscles trying to... Okay, look at me. Push your hands. And then scratch. Push down. Scratch. Push down. Five minutes to ten minutes. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, seven. Oh yeah, I gotta walk the rest of the day. That's gonna start hurting. <laughs> you okay? I oh, you no, now. I feel it. It's good. Right? I feel it. Okay, so yeah. every day you just gotta step on for 10 minutes. It will help you to reduce your stress and help you to balance your body so the cycles. Kind of gives me some jello legs is what it does. This is awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm feeling that in my legs, but I gotta walk the rest of the day, so I can't get too crazy on it right now. That little wiggler shaker, $2,395. Are you kidding me? Screw that. Okay, the last thing that I was talking about where they can interact with each other doesn't mean anything. This thing is like way cooler. 
It's actually like a virtual, I'm gonna guess a roller coaster. I haven't seen it in action yet, but it's a pretty big setup. They call it the Hurricane. Oh, look at that. been here for a few hours now and I just ate some Tic Tacs because I'm starving and I've seen some like food that I could get but the lines are super long and uh, <laughs> I don't know the food just kind of looks meh at this point though I'm about to like I don't know I'm about to start like freaking eating my arm follow this guy he knows where he's going A bunch of like random no name shit. Right tech. Look at our plugins. You can put stuff in. It's so cool. OCC cables. Okay, I was walking around. Somehow I ended up back to the TVs. Not that it's a bad thing. I mean, I love TVs. But I thought I was making headway and kind of looking for some other cool shit. I'm trying to find the Nikon place. Everyone has these Nikon bags. But look at that big ass TV. It looks small from this bag can't find anything and the map isn't updating I don't think my internet works ah barnacles I don't see you barnacles where are you it's amazing how many people are here I don't know if you can hear me I'm trying to navigate my way over to Nikon I don't know what they're giving away but everybody has a Nikon bag so I'm really kind of curious what they're giving away Poor girl, she just has to sit there. Chaos and everything going on, and it was such a beautiful high moment in my life. So I have absolutely no desire really to put my cold sore in front of all of those lights and have them take a picture of me and just to get a free shirt. But basically, they're uh, having people come up here. I take a picture with these balloons and balls and whatever, and then they give them a free shirt for it. So that's kind of funny. We're actually shooting this 8K painting. And this thing is super lit. Look at that. It's like overexposed. But this camera behind me, this is an 8K camera, and I can't even imagine how much this thing actually cost. This goes back to the whole like 4K argument. Everyone's like, why do you even need 4K? There's no 4K available. You know, there's no 8K really available, but it will be here. So brace it. It is what it is. <sighs> it's like 1.30 or something. I'm freaking starving. Still starving. I haven't found what I want to eat yet. I don't know. I think I'm in the food area. I got some people eating, but I walked up and down. I don't see any food. So I am sitting down on a random wall. And of course I haven't seen anybody like Barnacles or anyone like that, obviously. Um, but I think, I mean, I could have walked past somebody and not even realized it. I think I completely, utterly underestimated the scale of this event, the, the amount of people. And there's so much to draw attention to, or to draw your attention away. The idea that I wouldn't be surprised if I, don't, if I see nobody I know, like online. It's not like there's a bunch of people I know, but there's probably five or six people I could recognize. I wouldn't be surprised if I wouldn't see even one of them. There's just there's so many people here. So, that, uh, yeah. I don't know what this is. Some kind of chicken and chips. At this point, I'm so hungry, I don't really care what it is. I'm just starving.
back hurts, my arms are tired. I'm overwhelmed. I feel like I haven't really done anything. I'm confused, I'm lost. I'm... This is definitely more than I anticipated. I like it. But I think I like it as a like an attendee, you know? I feel like if I come again, it's gonna be like, I'm just gonna bring my cell phone and just record cool shit. You know, a little bit more basic coverage. This lugging around a freaking camera. This is a pain in the ass. I think tonight I'm gonna go home and, you know, I'm gonna work on, you know, probably another video or, or organize some of these videos and see if I can, see if I put something together that could resemble a video but the thing that I noticed and the thing that bugs me is that like a lot of stuff I'm seeing today is it's kind of just old news you know like I was really there is a lot of revolutionary looking stuff but there's also just a lot of familiar stuff stuff that I've seen out for uh, you know a couple of years um, it's just more of an advertising platform for some of these companies so when I see something new I'm thinking is this new or is it just old news and they're just trying to make it new? Or they're just trying to sell it? human-sized hamster ball so you can you can walk around in virtual reality like a giant hamster <laughs> I mean stuff like this like plugins extension cords I mean why are you gonna get a booth to advertise your surge protectors and your extension cords or whatever it just doesn't make sense Okay, so I'm thinking I want to go home. I've walked through most of this stuff twice, and I think that I should have had. Whoa, what's this? A bunch of SD cards in there. A bunch of USB cards. Copying stuff, I guess. I don't know. DVD copier. Just duplicated, apparently. All kinds of media. So anyways, I've made it through most of this stuff twice, and um, there are obviously so many different like venues and stuff for, to go to uh, for CES, but they're in like different buildings. So, it's almost 5 or 5.30, and I think it's gonna close in like an hour, hour and a half, or something like that, so. There's really no point in you know getting an Uber and then going going over to one of the other lots. Uh, although I was kind of looking up on some of the venues or some of the vendors and exhibits that I wanted to see, and I think they're all in the sand something. And I'm in the Central Hall because part of my letdown today is that I didn't really see very much computer stuff. You know, like I feel like I'm walking through this flea market of just gadgets and gadgets and stuff that. It's cool, some of it's really cool, but like I look at everything like, is this a video? You know, am I gonna make a video covering this? And no, is the answer. You know, I, I covered some stuff, like a drone that I've seen on the internet for a year or two now, and I was just talking to some people. It's not really, I don't know. I'll talk more on it when I think, I think when I get back, when I recap for the day. This is a fan made of fans. Actually, this proves that Linus released somebody on Linus' Travis here, I remember seeing this on Instagram. Kind of a 
I'm waiting for an Uber. $25 Uber to get back to the hotel. But I did go to the gas station and I got a whole pack of water for $6. I've been paying $4 or $5 per water. I drink a lot of water. So I've probably spent 30, 40 bucks just in water. I figured I might as well just buy a big old pack. I'm gonna be here like a long time. I don't even care if they're cold. I'm just done paying $5 a bottle. I am laying in bed because my back is killing me right now. I'm not used to, you know, walking and holding cameras and for eight hours. It's kind of like doing a wedding. Usually the next day after a wedding, I'm pretty sore. So now I'm doing, you know, four days worth of weddings back to back. That's going to be fun. Or something. I'm about to go to the local uh, establishment that claims to be a Chinese food place. It's kind of sort of like Panda Express, probably. The food doesn't look great, and I could probably do better if I were to venture out. But honestly, I just... I've been importing footage into Premiere and just kind of pre-baking everything that I need in order to start editing. And um, I'm just starving, so I'm gonna go get some Chinese food, come back, eat it, and then uh, and try to get a video knocked out. CS has been kind of interesting. You know, like, everybody, or at least the people that I watch that go to CES, you know, like, let's say Linus Paul, you know, Gamers Nexus, Steve, uh, people like that. Like, they all have been going to these these private showings right i mean these private suites and i have two of those tomorrow one at three and one at four hopefully i can make them um but it's just with plex and silicone dust so um basically like they're they're checking out the stuff i want to see you know like these state-of-the-art motherboards and, and like new new releases from computer components i walked around this whole ces in the main convention center and i saw some razor stuff but I mean, it didn't really look interesting to me, so I didn't even point a camera at anything besides the, I think they had a PC build there, but um, I just didn't see anything that I was like, I wanna make a video dedicated just to this. So I pointed my camera at some stuff, obviously, and I wanna make kind of like a, a compilation of some stuff that I saw that I found interesting, but it's more of a personal interest to me, so. I'm hoping tomorrow I'm going to have better luck um, with that. Also, I broke my light. Room, ser room service just showed up at like, it's 7.20. Room service was like, room service, you want me clean? No. No, don't. No, not right now. Tomorrow when I'm gone. Actually, I probably should have watched him. No, never mind. I'm sure they won't steal my stuff. But anyways, tomorrow I'm going to the Sand Place. Uh, today I went to the, the big one, the Las Vegas Convention Center. Uh, so the Sand Place hopefully should have some computer you know, vendors there. Uh, but back to my original point, everyone's like going to these private suites and stuff like that, and they're getting these private showings, and they're able to get you know intimate with the products. But in my experience, even on some of the stuff I wanted to point a camera at, if you can find a place to put your camera down, um, like I had one person almost knock it over, uh, multiple people, everyone walks in front of it, which I don't blame them. I mean, just because I put a camera down doesn't mean they can't walk there. But that's the point is that there's enough people there that that is a thing. Um, so it's like to have the ability to get the footage that I'd want to get is kind of rough with the system that I have. So I guess what I'm getting at is that if I go to CES next year, I, I want to go with different expectations and I think that's going to encompass a smaller camera setup with just everything smaller I don't know it'll have to be way smaller way more portable way more able to get in the cracks and get over people's shoulder hold up in the air um, just all around way more portable and I'm gonna go I think my vision has been my my perception of what I wanted it to be has been skewed because I've been idle or I've been thinking of, you know, what other people like Jay or Paul or whatever, like they're standing in front of a camera, they got the handheld microphone, they're interviewing somebody about some product, you know, and it's like intimate and like they're 
they're obviously in a hotel suite, so it's a lot easier. But I've always like looked at the way they were doing those videos. I'm like, oh, I want to go there. I want to talk to these vendors, and I want to see what these products. I want to ask my questions, you know. But I want to give my take on it. And I'm just not at that level. I think I, I think I'm at a level of go to CES, find things that are interesting, you know, maybe talk about it while I'm recording it. But instead of like dedicated videos about everything I found, to me, I think it's going to be more worthy or more plausible to just do like a maybe a couple you know overall videos like this is what I saw day one this is what I saw you know or maybe just grouped together or something like that I don't know I have to I have to figure this out but um, either way I, things were not as expected because there are so many people I think they said 108,000 people are going to the CES right now so there's just so many people everywhere. And that is a very, I've always wanted to go to New York and I want to see what it was like to be around that many people. And now I know. So it's been exciting for me just to experience all that and, and see how this is all laid out and stuff like that. But I definitely need to, uh, you know, rewire my thinking because I'm walking around saying like, you know, this is knickknack stuff and this is like, you know, surge protectors. And there's some interesting things here, but it's like, how do I really make that into an interesting video? And it's almost like a, a flea market too, because all these people are like peddling things that are like years old. I was like, this is not new. Like, I don't know. And I don't know enough about all the current stuff. Like I went to the razor booth and, you know, I'm looking at, I don't know, all, their whole lineup of, of laptops and stuff like that. And all these, where Razor people are all talking to somebody and everybody's engaged, you know. So, I mean, I either A, wait in line 10, 15 minutes, you know, to talk to each person if there is a busy thing or, or if they are busy. Or I just, I don't know. There's a lot to process. This has been an experience and I am starving and I'm rambling. So, thank you for watching.